figure out how I can figure out what's going on with you. What? What do you mean? Because you're a, you're a, uh, what, what's the word? You're like one of those, uh, you're like a mouse maze sometimes. A what? Keep, keep hitting walls and bouncing off on the other directions until you find your way to the finish line. Do I ever get out? Oh, well, eventually, I think, maybe, but you just get yourself right back in again. What's going on, everybody? Tonight, we're going to be doing some work on Medusa, the Ultra 4. Uh, we are going to steal my shocks back. Uh, we put them on Corey's rig also for the dyno. Won't talk about that. Um, no, nah, just joking. Thanks, Alvin. Uh, so, we're going to put them back on there, and then we're going to check a few things, and then I'm going to go drive out back for a few minutes. We just want to really check some stuff we haven't really driven this car much past just a couple dyno. things in the parking lot yeah dyno in the parking lot and we potentially got an event coming up we're excited if that works out we'll find out next week uh so yeah let's get started Okay, we got the springs on, shocks on, and now Joe's working with the uh, power steering pump belt. Still having some little challenges there. Let's see what he's got going on. So we're trying to figure out. I it, so it, the, it appears that this pulley is just that much. I too can't far see. Forward. Let me grab a flashlight. All right, so we got that line back up. Let's put some tension on this. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, anything else we need to do? I need to tighten the inner ones. The gun right here, still. The gun. Oh, it's right there on the tire. Right here. Try that. Get pull it up. Pull back towards you. It looked like it just lifted up. It may have pulled the bottom in a little bit. Uh, all righty. Well, let's charge up these shocks, make sure everything's good, and we'll go take it for yeah, a quick spin. Good. Yeah, that probably would be the whole point of this, huh? <laughs> All right, here. You're good? Yep. Yeah. Right. We're going to get it started, let it warm up, and then uh, while it's warming up, get everything cleared and let's go outside.
Okay, so he's finally got it out of the shop. I'm gonna turn a few uh, mild laps. <laughs> uh, really just kind of getting out here, driving it a little bit, uh, letting it warm up. It hasn't been out of the shop in a while. Thing is definitely loud. I was wondering how long it was going to take to get hot without the bear. Come over there.
Well, that's the It needs to be tightened. Oh, I was like, why is it shooting up these little... Uh, it's for the birds. Yeah, I was gonna say. How bad was that? Just idling? I mean... You could hear it in the house. That's, uh, yeah, like I said, it was only getting up to about 204, and again, just wanting to test some things, make sure... What's the stuff. purpose of the dot? That's your laser? That's the laser, yeah. 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 You can see it. Oh, yeah, look at that way out there. Yeah, it'll produce one lux of light, which is the equivalent of enough light to read a book at three quarters of a mile away. It's How come you got a whole side not working on the other one? This one was one of the originals. I got I got to unbolt it and swap it. That's just no good. Yeah, because it's this half of the light, right? I think. A lot of warmth coming up here. A lot of warmth coming up in here. It's <laughs> toasty in here. I'll tell you what, man, you're never going to be cool. Air your air blowing this way? No, it blows out. Oh, see. it sucks. If it went the other way, it'd be worse. You'd be blasting yourself with hot air. Got the oil cooler. Yeah. You have to still close the whole back. Don't you? Yeah, we have a panel that goes back there. What we're looking at on here. There's the oil cooler in that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. I gotta change this double stick tape. We never put the new stuff on it. You your hmm. bypasses on the front yet? No, uh, we're just checking stuff right now. So it'll, we'll get that on there soon. I, we already had, they just bolt right on. Yeah, it's just. Oh, there we go. Just, just, you shift through everything? Mm -hmm. I think it needs a hair, it might need a hair tranny fluid, but. You didn't try to go on the rocks at all? No, I don't have two wheel drive. What? I don't have four wheel driving. You don't have your front axle or your shaft in yet? No. Shaft diff, nothing. What? Uh, the diff, we still got to finish getting that set up, but then the clearancing on the IFS stuff. So, so why did you bring it out? Mainly because we wanted to test a couple of the belts that we changed the setups oh, on. Belt. Okay. But you can't test it unless you're actually driving on the brakes. Oh, that's because something I didn't look at. What's that? The, the power steering belt. Ha, <laughs> this is cool. This is what it looks like from the inside. You get lights. Had the GPS up there soon, but... <coughs> cool. So yeah, we're just wanting to test a couple things, so I guess it's time to go put this guy away. this area a little bit before we uh, pull this guy back in here so let's get this clean just getting some stuff cleaned up poor old oso over here it's okay we got a lot going on we're gonna clean up a lot of this engine bay and get stuff gone and move the evap cans to the back we're actually gonna mount a cooler up here um, remove this accumulator and just bunch of little things we're going to work on to make this a little easier and accessible and 
all that good stuff, but it's coming all in time. Um, oh, and a really, really big change. Got to throw this out there. Originally, the plan, everything was set in motion. Uh, we were going to go with a 427 from Texas Speed. Unfortunately, the timeline's not going to work for what we need, and that kind of fell through. However, uh, we're really excited to announce that we're going to be partnering with Thompson Motorsports on Oso and possibly uh, for Medusa as well. So Thompson Motorsports has been making engines for a while. They're also based out of Texas, um, and they're going to be putting together. Uh, they've already got a package ready for this. It's already in motion. It's going to be a 427 as well, using the big Frankenstein, uh, their billet heads, and a bunch of great parts. We're about four weeks out on that, so we're going to be getting a bunch of other stuff done on the rig. We'll keep you posted on that, as well as Medusa. On a totally different note, Joe, what have we been doing back here? We made a mess. Oh, we made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I had to process what you meant by back here. Well, we told you a few weeks ago we're going to be doing a remodel in the shop, and we kind of started on that. Um, eventually, all that is gone, and the lift is coming back here. We uh, did a bunch of reorganizing back here. We had two old air compressors, got rid of that, cleaned out everything, pushed the table back almost, what was that, about five feet, four feet? I don't know, four or five feet. It ran. Um, We've got to move all this stuff down, but now we've just about got all this cleaned up and it's opening so much more room up over here as well as over here for some stuff. Um, all this stuff, most of it's just garbage, getting rid of it. And that saw is leaving and the press all that moved down. So all this is going to be nice, open and clean so it won't be soaked, just can whatever what word am i looking for i don't know but a lot of crap yeah. so cleaning that and we have been cleaning a bunch up here joe also got this really cool thing he got for free and here's all the engine parts there got them all organized out uh but this will be the home for our shock building we're going to store all the shock stuff in there with some shells so that'll be sealed it'll keep a lot of the dust away and uh keep everything nice and clean the next big hurdle, though, is getting rid of all this stuff and moving the lift to the back. But we're getting there. We are getting there. So big first step was getting all this cleaned up. Oh, and the bouncer, we're going to be getting back on that here pretty soon. Uh, the goal is to have that thing a roller here probably first week of July or so, second week, somewhere around there. One other thing, uh, this next week, we've got either a two or a three part build that we're going to do. A uh, buddy of mine, uh, he needs some help on some coilovers. So we're going to be showing you how to install coilovers on a WJ. We're not doing the full build on it. Uh, we're just doing the part that's going to be the upper towers and all the work on the body that he's kind of struggling with himself. So we're going to take care of that. And then he's going to take it to another shop who's going to do the axle install, suspension and all that. But we're going to show you how we build the towers and everything that's going on with putting coilovers in a Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ. So that will be next week. All right, we moved all this stuff over. Look at all this room. You can see this extra area. So we're actually thinking about moving. Joe. No, we're actually thinking about moving the lathe over to this side, which that's going to be fun because that guy's heavy. And then kind of rearranging and starting to consolidate more of the dust grinding and everything back to this corner. And that way the rest of the shop gets... Uh, gets to be able to stay cleaner so anyways just keeping you guys posted on all this stuff that we got going on i gotta go push the race car in it's a little bit too late to start that Open to get to the box. Yeah, I didn't actually get to my box. Hey, at least this time we're pushing a car that still runs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, all right, hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to show you kind of some of the updates. We are gonna be getting back on the, uh, on the Ultra 4 here in Medusa. And if all goes well, we have an event that we're trying to get to on the 25th and the 26th of June in Atlanta, Georgia with Torque Storm. So that'll be really cool. So keep following to see what we're doing with the project coming up next week with the WJ coilover conversion. Uh, also keep following so you can see what's going on with Oso and the new Thompson Race Engines 427 and everything else that we got going on here. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you get subscribed, give us a thumbs up, like, and all that good stuff. And Joe, it's time to go home, buddy. Fist bump for you. Get out of here. We'll see you next time. Fist bump for you guys.